Good morning everybody, you can hear the distant noise of Ryan shaving his beard. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is a gorgeous day. Honestly, I've tried to start this sentence so many times and I keep ballsing it up. I literally haven't finished my coffee yet. But I keep talking about the fact that at some point it looks like I live in a tree house and we're kind of getting there. I don't know if you can see like all of the trees have their leaves on, it's so cute. Literally feel like I live in the trees and it's so sweet. Thought I would take you through a few new bits that I ordered. I think I mentioned in my last vlog, I ordered some stuff because at some point, do you know, I don't know why, I don't like to say what, when, but at some point in the near future, it's mine and Ryan's anniversary. So I wanted to, obviously we're having a stay in anniversary, but I wanted to find a new dress just to wear, just to make me feel a bit more special because we're not gonna be able to go and do anything. I think if this all hadn't happened, I probably would have booked like a last minute trip for us or something really, really nice, or we would have just been on one of Ryan's work trips because this is one of the months when I think he has like quite a lot of stuff going on. Just wanted to basically make myself feel a little bit better about that. So I'm gonna take you through a few new summer dresses, which you guys might love as well if you're like enjoying wearing cute like summery things in your garden. I'm definitely enjoying the fact that I can wear like cute summer dresses and not worry about like having to go to London like to work and it being really, really cold and then me not having enough layers and stuff. It's quite nice to just have to not worry about that. That is me looking on the very, very bright side of things right now. But anyway, I wanted to take you through a few new dresses because I think you guys will really love them. Yeah, that is what we're gonna be doing today. I'm really enjoying my makeup at the moment. I feel like I say this in every vlog, no matter what makeup I do. I've got recovering skin. It was very, very, very bad last week. Easter week, I ate some Cadbury's chocolate, which you guys might remember, I used to not be able to eat and then I was able to eat it in 2018 and then 2019, my body started going, no, you can't, again. So yeah, I ate a cream egg and all hell broke loose across my forehead and all up this cheek. This side is fine, which I'm very thankful for because I have scarring already enough on that cheek and um, it's kind of given it a bit of respite. But yeah, my makeup is covering it very, very well. I've been using the Kevin Aquan foundation balm as always, and it just works an absolute treat on my face. That and the By Terry CC serum, I think that's what it's called, I can't remember. I'll link them. Those two are like a godsend together because it means I just put foundation where I really, really need it. So it's still like a lighter coverage. That's what we're gonna be doing today. I thought I'd show you the dresses now, before all hell breaks loose on my hair because I'm doing another vlog simultaneously, but today I'm gonna to be taking my hair extensions out. So I've curled my hair for one last time. Yeah, it's, it's going. So yeah, I've got a little while left until I think Ryan's gonna be done uh, doing his beard and then we need to go. So I'm gonna show you them now. So I thought I'd start off by showing you the dress that I am wearing. This is from ASOS. It is the cutest little kind of, what is this blue? It's such, a unique blue it's like a forget-me-not blue color i don't even know what you would call this i know there is a name for it but i can't remember it for the life of me but it's so beautiful it feels gorgeous as well like i can't work out what this material is but it just feels amazing and i love it this was the one that i expected to love the least out of all of the dresses i bought but it's just so flattering and i feel so pretty in it it's so cute so yeah that is a dress number one this would have been a contender for the anniversary dress had i not put this on five seconds ago and then just decided that I love this and I'm probably gonna wear this every day until my release date. This dress, I cannot wait to try on. This is contender number one for the anniversary dress. I hope it looks as good as I hope that it's going to. <laughs> this print is stunning. I'm not normally a print girl, I'm not normally a color girl, but I really need that like lift to my mood at the moment. So I am really loving color. And this color combination is just absolutely stunning. I think it looks so much more expensive than it is and it's just beautiful. It's got an open back, but it's got buttons that do up at the top behind your neck. It might be a bit long. I'll deal. I'll wear heels for one day inside the house. I don't care. So annoyingly, I am going to need a smaller size. What is that? That is crazy. So even around my waist, normally like here and here, it will be tight and then here will be loose. But even here is loose, like I've got a good kind of chunk of material, chunk? A good portion of material that is like excess. And then this is just way, way too big for me. But if it was like cinched in, I can imagine this looking amazing. Yes, it is quite long, but I think with heels, I could just about, my YSL heels, I could just about make this work. But maybe if I get a smaller size, it will adjust the length slightly as well, which would be amazing. Cause this is stunning. Like this print is just absolutely gorgeous. I am obsessed with it, look at that. That is just beautiful. So yeah, sorry, if I keep touching my hair, by the way, I've got an extension that keeps just like poking out sideways because I've tucked my hair behind my ears because my hair at the front will not stop misbehaving. So uh, 
Actually, it's still sticking out sideways. It's just being an absolute nightmare. It's coming out, guys. It's coming out. Also, someone told me to put it up. I can't even put it up because tapes are too high and they show because I didn't anticipate us being in a situation where I couldn't see my hairdresser, okay? So, yeah, a bottle of gin is going all over my head tonight. But anyway, so I think I might order this in a smaller size, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll see how I feel about the other dresses because if there's another one that I'm like, that is an absolute winner, then I won't bother. Yeah, it is beautiful. That back is just absolutely stunning. I've only done one button up because otherwise it would take me 3,000 years to get out of this because Ryan is in the shower. Yeah, this one because this was actually in my bedroom. I ripped this out of the ASOS parcel as soon as it arrived because I love this. It's not ideal for on camera. It probably won't be like a super worky dress that you see me in all the time because it is making the camera go funny it's just that stripe print that makes the camera go a bit funny sometimes it's the kind of thing that they would kill me for if i turned up to a work shoot in this we always get little like things that are like please do not wear prints or stripes but yeah so you probably won't see me on camera in this a lot but it's a perfect like in the garden kind of dress and i just absolutely love it so pretty very booby but very cool. so this dress is gorgeous i don't know how but i've managed to just buy loads of stuff in the same color i always end up doing this i have a color that i subconsciously love and I don't even know I love it until an order arrives and I'm like everything is the same color of blue this is stunning I love the print of it so much it's so beautiful only thing is I put it on and I was like what is not right like what is not right about this and then I realized like it's got a lot of excess material up here which is kind of like fine the shoulders are quite wide which I wouldn't say is massively like flattering so maybe it needs to be a bit more like that and then I was like wait hang on I literally have so much excess material here and when you pull it in then it looks really really nice it's almost like it's just too straight and too long because it's got this excess material around the boobs waist and around my hips as well i'm like have i lost weight because i've literally been eating vegan cheese by the bag i don't understand so another one that is a bit too big i got everything in a 10. yeah this one is gorgeous i don't know what to do i would try taking it in myself but the last time i did that i was doing it for a friend and i used to be quite good at it but i sewed my hand to the dress and i've just like had ptsd from it ever since so i'm not really keen to repeat that experience oh my god it's so pretty i just love this print so gorgeous i love this blue because it's a very like muted blue so it's not super super bright like that minty kind of one that has the purple flowers on it that is bright but this is just like that beautiful kind of muted almost pastel-y but like kind of grey blue color it's just so stunning i don't know what to do about this that's gonna really annoy me hmm. no. i look like a doll in this dress so we're moving on to a couple of dresses that i picked up off of h&m this is so cute so cute but i do think i look a little bit like a doll i'd be interested to see what this looks like when my extensions are out and my hair is shorter and a more like clean cut bob i think that could make this look less childlike but it's really really sweet such a lovely spring dress like spring summer perfect like uk summer dress because it has the long sleeves so we can get away with wearing this when we're not sure what the weather's doing especially in brighton it's very windy it gets quite chilly this is just like a really lovely summer dress so pretty that print what's happened to me what's wrong with me why do i like prints all in this dress at the back because guess what too big basically unless they're meant to be baggy everything is too big on me so i think i need to face the facts that i might not be a 10 in dresses anymore so i'm just gonna hold this in i'm really annoyed because i love this dress it's very like dutch and gabbana like 2000 and what was it 2016 but i loved that vibe and i actually think it's really really timeless if you ignore the fact that everyone wore it for one summer solid. I think the print is really gorgeous and very, very classic and timeless. And I'm really annoyed because this dress took so long to arrive. Because H&M is bad at the best of times with its delivery. And uh, I need a smaller size and I really love it. So yeah, I just don't think I can get away with it like this. There's too much, like if I bent, <laughs> if I bent over, it's got way too much room in it. My boobs would just fall straight out. So yeah, it's a shame. I also wish this had pockets that would be goals i'm checking it definitely doesn't have pockets yeah i'm quite sad because this was like number two contender for the anniversary dress and uh once again it is too big so yeah very sad but it's really pretty and a great find so yeah just gonna have to pick one and get it in the right size how gorgeous is this this is not something i would normally go for that print is just 
so beautiful i don't normally go for big prints i'm normally more of a like small print person but i loved the color of this that kind of like grey lilac tone it's just so so beautiful i think it's meant to be more of a midi dress but it's a maxi dress on me which i'm not going to complain about because it's actually very hard for me to find a maxi dress that hits this point because normally it's so much longer so i have no complaints there this is so beautiful the neckline is gorgeous it has this tie so you can have it like that or you can have it like more of a relaxed like boho-y vibe a few years ago i would have gone for it like this but i don't know now if i would go for that it's a bit too relaxed i would love to know your thoughts i think it's just a really lovely summer dress look at that print oh my god i love the fact that it's like got these tears to it as well so it's kind of ruched as it falls and it's just so gorgeous i love it it also goes long sleeve i've rolled the sleeves up because i just felt like that was more it's just a bit more me but yeah so so beautiful <gasps> oh just like a really lovely loose floaty one it's a tiny bit tricky to get on just because it's got a slip underneath just to make it like super opaque so which is fits great. the best out of all of the dresses from h&m however i just i don't feel like it's very me i love obviously i love a white dress that is a very suzy appropriate thing for the summer but this kind of like flippy little skater skirt at the end i'm just i'm not too keen on it does fit the best out of all of the h&m dresses i think it looks the best on my top half and around my waist but this bottom half i'm just not super keen on sadly but it's got gorgeous sleeves there is a very similar version of this in black on asos if you are like looking at that thinking god i wish that came in black i'm pretty sure asos do like several different colored versions of this it's more of a like tiered like floaty material on the bottom which i actually think i prefer so i hope asos come out with a white version that is it for my little haul sadly not so successful successful in the sense of i really know what i want and in what sizing but sad that not all of it is like bang on except that little blue asos dress which i'm now gonna go and change back into because it's so oh, cute snaking past oh. mm, so excited so i am currently just finishing up today's video which will have been like two videos ago for you guys i'm getting quite ahead very proud of myself i'm still loving this asos dress it's so cute love the color i think it makes me look even more tan than i normally do and even more blonde than i normally do or maybe that's just the fake tan i don't know i'm gonna put it down to the dress because it's cute but basically just having a filming working afternoon pray for me that this like beauty routine video goes well yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing this evening so i will probably see you again tomorrow maybe with a bit less hair maybe with some really awful straggly hair <laughs> we'll see officially feel like i live in a tree <laughs> look at that why are your leaves orange wrong time of year honey good morning everybody today it is friday it's been a while since i saw you last actually i feel like it was monday something like that today it's actually really nice and sunny today it's making me very happy i feel like quite like positive which is really nice i also feel really good because i only have one spot left on my face that is like an active spot she needs her own postcode but I feel like by tomorrow I will have a clean face of skin. Wait, it doesn't work the same way as when you say like a, I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to say. Anyway, it's looking okay. All of my like breakouts that I've had over the past couple of weeks have now really calmed down. I just have like the scarring left over, which is looking very good today. I've been using the Ren, what is it called? I'll pop a little picture of it on screen but it's so good i put it on like in the evenings before i go to bed and i wake up with the most like glowy but also like even toned skin and my scarring is like so reduced it's great so yeah i've literally got one spot left so i'm gonna have a nice skincare evening tonight and i think i'm gonna do a lactic acid kind of treatment on my face and just see if i can kind of like get the last little bit of that spot off of my face but yeah it's a lovely day today i'm not sure what i'm doing today i've literally started sorry my hair is out of control you know when you wake up in the morning and your hair is just like wild but yeah i'm not sure what i'm gonna do today i've had like quite a slow morning so far i just had my coffee I've stayed in my dressing gown i make that sound like it's really late it's not it's literally like 9 a.m but yeah i've just been in my dressing gown which is new i can't remember if you've seen it yet but yeah this is my new dressing gown from the white company it is so snuggly brian often wears as you will have seen in the vlogs i feel like at times brian often wears my dressing gown and i just thought i'd pick another one up and get myself a nicer one so yeah loving this one i've never had a white company dressing gown before but i highly recommend wasn't sure 
if it would be worth it but i'm actually really really happy with this it is so so soft my other dressing gowns are a bit more fleecy fortunately it was sent to me but they're from soho home part of the soho house group same ones that you get if you stay there but i've never really felt like the quality was like as amazing for the price so i thought this time i'd test out a white company dressing gown and i do really like them the quality of them feels lovely like really different to any other dressing gown i've had so yeah i'm gonna get dressed and maybe put some makeup on because I feel like I actually feel like putting makeup on today, which is quite nice. I barely wore makeup this week because I was filming my at home beauty routines video, which thank you for all the love on that video because it was so nice to read through the comments and it was such a fun video to film as well, really different to anything else I've ever done. So yeah, that's really nice. If you haven't seen that, I will link it in the info box for you. Yeah, makeup time. Let's see if we can cover this little pest on my face up. It's actually not that bad, it just looks bad. Much better than it was yesterday, so. I'll take that small I'm already i'm gonna be doing a video on this makeup look because so many of you have asked about my makeup routine at the moment i am going to do a video on it uh, i think i might film it this weekend potentially but if not definitely next week i would also love to know do you want this look or do you want the slightly more full glam look that i've been doing let me know what you prefer i probably am leaning more towards this one i feel like it's a bit more like summer appropriate like just warm summer's day type makeup but with like decent coverage for those of us who do not have perfect skin so yeah i'm already for an exciting day indoors i need to decide what to wear i don't know it's warm today and i'm just torn between loungewear or a summer dress do i want to look nice do i not by the way this is the moisturizer that i was talking about that i used last night i highly recommend this it is a fantastic moisturizer i'm also going to be using this one tonight that was what i mentioned earlier these three here are my little routine that i used this morning running out of super glow ah! luckily i have a backup so i do oskia super c capsules first then this then this that's my super simple like morning routine and then i obviously have cleansed with the oskia renaissance cleansing gel last night i literally just put a bit of toner on my face a little bit of hyaluronic acid and then a little bit of that and tonight i'll pop this on as soon as i've taken my makeup off in the afternoon slash early evening and then i'll pop some of this on later on some of this and then a light moisturizer i need to sort out this cupboard this cannot all come with me when I move. This is a lot. Just sorted out the lighting settings on my camera. I didn't realise they'd gone all the way up. I don't know how I did that. So if I've been looking really overexposed so far today, that is why. But yeah, I need to have a sort out of all of my beauty stuff, of my clothes. So I feel like that is coming up. God, that needs to happen. <sighs> Stresses me out thinking about it. And then I need to do my annual, like, summer to winter to summer switch for my wardrobe but it's also going to have a little bit of a twist i guess this summer because i'm going to kind of be getting stuff ready to pack as well and kind of like thinking about that so i need to do that next week as well oh my god that's gonna be such a big job it's always a big job anyway but yeah that's gonna be a lot totally forgot that this arrived from topshop yesterday how cute is this dress Ugh. I saw this on Nadia um, if you don't watch her videos or follow her Instagram I would highly recommend watching it she's a little bit of me but this dress just looked so cute on her so hopefully it'll look cute on me hopefully it'll fit because clearly that's an issue I'm having at the moment normally the fit issue is the other way around um, so I'm not complaining but yeah I'm excited for this this could be the perfect dress for today because it's a really lovely day but it's not too warm so the long sleeves on this would be perfect this is really cute I've rolled the sleeves up they just looked a bit weird on me but yeah, I really like this. I didn't think this ruching around the waist would actually be that flattering. I keep hearing everyone say, oh yeah, and it's fitted around the waist. So super, super flattering. And I'm thinking like, well, yeah, but it's waist and then here. And you know, I'm bloated a lot of the time. So is that gonna be cute? Actually, it still looks really cute. I think because the skirt kind of flips out, you don't notice. So yeah, really cute. It's definitely exceeded my expectations because for all purposes, this should not be a flattering fit at all. I kind of looked at it and I was like, how does that look good on people? I don't understand. I'm gonna to need to order it and see for myself. But I really like it. It's very cute. I think with my Gucci trainers, this would be so, so sweet. I twisted my leg like I was wearing them. I'm not. So yeah, thumbs up from me, which uh, is a nice surprise. At least we've got one dress that fits me just well. just in such a weird mood today. I feel like I can't 
speak properly. Does anyone else have those days? Like, I have caffeinated and I feel like I can't speak properly. I'm addressing this because sometimes I feel like with the vlogs I just need to address that I feel weird and then move on and then I'm instantly like not weird after. I don't know. But yeah, just weird because I've had coffee and normally my brain like switches on after that. No. So I think I'm going to get the work done that I need to get done today and then I'm just going to watch YouTube videos and play Sims and uh, finish work early for the weekend. What are weekends anymore even? Do you know what? We still do try and differentiate weekends by the fact that we have like food like curry and stuff on a Saturday and keep it like relatively kind of like healthy-ish. I mean, we definitely had breakfast enchiladas for dinner last night. It was great. Basically trying to use whatever we can in the fridge and make slightly more creative meals. But yeah, it's technically the weekend. So I'm just gonna embrace that like Friday feeling of like, I can't use my brain. <laughs> I feel really bad for Lauren because she has to edit these and I'm just sitting here for like long stints of time that you won't see being like, um. But I'm gonna kind of log off early, I think tonight and just have like a nice chill weekend. And yeah, th I think this is the last of the sun that we're gonna get this weekend and then it's gonna be really pants weather. So I'm gonna make the most of it. Probably gonna make the most of it by playing Sims inside but still i'm actually really enjoying like just being at home all the time at the moment and i know that's really bad because i feel like when i have to come out of this it will be a really difficult adjustment for me to have to properly go like back to work i love being at home and i love like the core of my job which is this i love this and i love having the time to do it and really just like embrace it at the moment it makes me feel really really good i like that there's no pressure to like go to any events and like do stuff and I know it's so bad and I'm definitely gonna have like the hardest time adjusting when this is all over but yeah I'm kind of embracing the not having to go to stuff I feel like it's been really good for me yeah over the past year going to stuff has just been more and more difficult I've just been loving my home content more and more and I feel like you guys can see that and you guys have also been loving my home content more and more by the way I'm so tired I feel like when I'm tired one of my eyes <laughs> one of my eyes goes a different way to the other and I'm really conscious that it might be happening but I'm not sure and I think I'm just overthinking it and I'm getting really distracted so I keep looking at myself there is a child upstairs and he has not stopped running around for it's been months now it's been like pre-lockdown I'm not even like giving them any slack because it's locked down and the child is locked up they were like this before and it's been so bad but yeah I am tired that child is doing my head in it was like three in the morning last night and I was like how are these parents that spawned this child how are they sleeping how are they doing this i don't understand how they because i can hear the balcony doors are both open i can hear it as well the child screaming and i just don't know how they're doing it as parents and he just doesn't stop running around but they're all asleep right now they must have the weirdest sleep cycle because they're up at like five in the morning basically the whole point of this is i'm tired but i'm happy because i don't have to go to events was the point of this chat so we got late now i'm just getting ready for bed i'm gonna have a bath and just try and like unwind a little bit. My little eyes, I've been staring at my computer for ages and they're just like little mole eyes. So yeah, I'm gonna have a bath. Ryan is playing FIFA, I believe. And I thought I'd talk you through a few bits that I'm using at the moment to like help me unwind, sleep, all of that stuff. Because like I've been saying repeatedly, my sleep has been really bad. So I've been using a few bits. I'm adding a bath into the mix tonight, which I don't normally do, just to see if it makes a difference. I'm gonna pop some of this in my bath. This is the Laura Mercier Body and Bath. This is so long. Ombre Vanilla Honey Bath. There we go, I finally got that. So you can put this in your bath. They also do a body cream with this as well, which is incredible and I need to get my hands on that. But this one just goes in your bath. They have a little, really cute little stick, which you can use. You can either swirl it around in your bath or just like under the tap. So yeah, that smells amazing. Even Ryan picked it up this morning when he was in the shower. He was like, oh, this smells really good. I could put that in my bath. And I was like, I'm not sure I like you enough. No, hands up. So that is what I'm gonna use in my bath. I also like to use it on my body as well, just because it smells so good. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna use in my bath. I need to do my skincare after I get out of the bath. I put this on earlier, I took my makeup off hours ago and I just popped this on. So this is the Oskia Liquid Mask Lactic Acid Micro Peel. And this is just hopefully gonna mean that I wake up in the morning with like reduced scarring and everything on my wee face. And over the course of the day tomorrow, everything will be, it'll be slightly dry, but it will all just kind of start, like when I wash my face, it will start buffing off, which is amazing. I either use that, a retinol, or just like hydrating kind of serums. And then the Ren Overnight Glow kind of does a similar thing to the lactic acid, but just gentler. Sorry, my camera cut out, because I ran out of memory and in 
deleting loads of files so that I could make space to film this, I actually just deleted a file which is so sad that I've deleted and I'm now like trying not to cry. But it's fine. It's fine. It happened. So it's fine. But anyway, so I feel like the Ren Overnight Glow Mask is kind of similar to this but more of a hydrating version. So it still leaves my scars looking like less the next day but it gives this lovely glow to your skin at the same time. But this is kind of just like got a little bit more oomph behind it. So I did that earlier and I think I'm going to just follow it up this evening with maybe my Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. This is really good for just keeping like a constant, very low key bronze to your face like it looks very very natural it just looks like this is the color of my face which it is but it just gives a little bit of extra color so it kind of ties in with my body a bit better my face is like because i use spf every day my face is like white 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 so white like this white but it's all good because my skin definitely has benefited from wearing spf every day the condition of my skin is so much better than it has been since i was in my early 20s so i feel like my skincare everything i'm using on my skin right now is doing bits for my skin i'm gonna pop some of the herbivore rose hydrating toner on tan Lux after that and then i've got another moisturizer in here i've been using the fresh rose deep hydration face cream i just always have that on my bedside table because sometimes i top up throughout the evening and then on my bedside table i also have i'm not going to show you because my retainer is on it and it's just really gross also tinted pink because of my toothpaste if you want to know toothpaste info and all of that then i will direct you to my at home beauty treatments video that i just did the other day on my bedside table i also have two bits from this works i've got the pillow spray which ryan actually loves this normally lives on his bedside table but i stole it the other night because i was stressed and needed like a good night's sleep and then Ginny from space nk who is one of my lovely lovely friends there's not a day that goes by at the moment where i don't speak to her she actually sent me she posted this to me the stress check breathe in rollerball from this works and it just smells incredible what is in it i need to actually find out but it's almost like a eucalyptus -y kind of smell i'll put a link to it but i put it on like this part of my neck and on my wrists yeah it's just like the smell is really like calming so nice and then i have my chanel hand cream on my bedside table because my hands are dry af yeah, i've got those bits i've got my new dressing gown which i'm going to take with me i'm gonna try and actually get a decent night's sleep tonight Good. I wish there was smell -a vision because my bathroom smells so good right now. I'm so happy I got my hands on this. I feel like I've used quite a lot of it. Whoops. But whenever I've been in Space NK for like the past couple of years really, I've, maybe I've just always had bad luck but this has always been out of stock. I'm so happy that I finally have it and I think, I think it is in stock online at the moment so I will link it in the info box below in case you want to go and get your hands on it because it's so hard to get hold of. It smells so good. So good. So yeah, I'm going to have my bath now. Wish me luck, wish me a good night's sleep, and hopefully I'll be back with you tomorrow and I can actually speak to the camera. <laughs> this morning with my favorite song and throwing petals at me. Was it meant to be a sprinkling? Yeah. It was meant to be a sprinkling apparently, but yeah. <laughs> was the worst night's sleep i've had in a very 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 long time i can't i can't even string a sentence together today so i got off to sleep fine the bath worked a treat all of my little bits that i've started doing before i'm going to bed worked wonderfully and i'm like drifting off to sleep and then my neighbors start running around and it's just this repeated cycle for hours and hours of me trying like just about drifting off to sleep and then just continuously being woken up by so many different noises. Last night there was screaming and I'm just, I'm so tired you guys, I just can't. So yeah, the sleepy vibes were there, it worked a trick, but unfortunately the sleep just didn't follow. So that's very sad. So yeah, I'm gonna have like a chill day today, I think, and just do my housework, 
washing, hoovering, mopping, all of that kind of stuff. And then just literally sit and binge watch Kardashians and season 10 of The Walking Dead, which I've not got to the end of yet, by the way. So um, please don't spoil it for me. Skin is looking better today on my forehead in terms of like the scarring is massively reduced. Just this little spot will not stop lingering, but it is like much less like off my face today. It's much lower. So I feel like by the next time you see me, by the next time I pick up this vlogging camera, Everything's gonna be great. I just need to make it through this weekend without murdering my neighbors. And sad times I also checked, but the Laura Mercier on Vanille is out of stock again. I will let you know when it comes back in. Follow me on stories, because I spoke about it, I think a week or so ago. I will do a little repost when it's back in stock. But yeah, I think that's gonna be where I end this vlog today because I'm so tired that I keep we're cutting this out but i keep reversing my sentences like nothing is coming out in the right order and i just can't so yeah i'm gonna say goodbye to you all thank you all so much for watching love you all lots sorry this vlog wasn't very anything -y. yeah i'm gonna go do some yoga and just try and like zen so yeah i love you all lots and i'll see you guys again very soon bye